Greetings, bravo, and anyone is viewing. Aficionados of Real Housewives of New Jersey can predict future events with great accuracy, even if they have been living under a rock. Andy Cohen said that just a few weeks prior, no decisions had been taken regarding the franchise's future. I had optimism. Everybody did. The Bravo mogul, however, declared this week that a shift was almost certain. I still feel like I'm losing something when it comes to Real Housewives of New Jersey, even after this declaration. Am I the only one that feels this much devastated? On his radio show, Andy revealed that the franchise will be getting all new actors. That being said, I continue to hope that Teresa Giudice's house was the source of the angry call and that this whole thing was a hoax. Possibly in an attempt to get the caller off the line. Andy said what she wanted to hear because he seemed irritated by the line of inquiry. Maybe just all fresh faces, remarked a grumpy Andy. I recall a period, though, when the real housewives of New Jersey were unbeatable. Bergen County's women were its best. The Garden State series was a good franchise for a very long time. Never did I think it would fall. Among the most amazing moments on reality TV were Rich Wackley's strange remarks the Monzo Kids ham game, and the first few seasons featuring a gullible Teresa. Those times when I would frequently find myself giggling wildly out loud are long gone. Though it wasn't a staged fight, the scene where the cast fought was probably the greatest. Two individuals who knew one another got into a quarrel. Their past existed. The insults made the entire franchise seem more realistic and stung deeper. Up until seasons 13 and 14, I really liked the way the cast interacted. Iggy Flicker and Amber Marchies were one and dones, but the core group never wavered, so I could overlook them. However, at this point, I am at a loss for any plausible friendship inside the group. The series' overall tone has turned angry and poisonous, and dark dare I say it. Something about it feels really weird. However, the friendships were modest and sincere in the early seasons. Seasons 3 through 5 marked the franchise's zenith. We kept watching it because of its humorous moments like Joe Gorga dressed like Snooky and its real-life drama. The Napa Valley Vacation, which featured the group traveling in an RV, was offered to the fans. Since then, when has that occurred? Aside from the sprinter vans that have come to represent the real housewives, that is... This hill is my deathbed. Family constituted the core of the Real Housewives of New Jersey No franchise since has produced episodes with such passion and emotion, or given me a family dynasty that I would be ready to watch on a weekly basis. From a macho man to an accepting spouse, I enjoyed seeing Joe change over the years. A lovely bond existed between Joe and his cousin Rosie Peary. Rosie courageously revealed her true identity to her niece, and nephew in season three. 